Yo, what's going on everybody? I would like to welcome you guys to episode 5. It's my career, man, with the stat sheet stuffer. It's time for me to spend this 57,000 VC on a couple things that's definitely needed. I need a jump shot ASAP. I need a free throw routine. I need dunk packages. I need layup. I need everything under the sun, man. This guy is a rookie. I haven't even played my first game yet, and I'm willing to spend everything. Now, I know you guys had a lot of questions in the comment section of episode 1 to 4 of this NBA 2K13 My Career, and I'm here to actually answer some of those questions, so just sit back, relax, take a listen. Now, the first question that you guys had, this was like a big, big question. A lot of people asked why my guy was light-skinned. Now, if you guys saw the preview to the Stat Sheet Stuffer music video on Shady Triple Zero 18's uh, channel, you guys will actually know that my guy was light skinned before I actually created him. Now, the whole meat behind that was I actually didn't want to make him the same skin tone as David Ipa King Carter just because of the simple fact that I wanted to switch the game up and I know last year he was a darker shade but you could blame 2k for the skin tone changes it's not our fault they need to add more skin tones to the game maybe that could be added to the NBA 2k14 wish list. next question that you guys had this was another crazy question was why did you choose the tryout for the New Orleans Hornets now the funny thing about that is who wouldn't want to try for the number one pick you guys got to think about this man this is NBA 2k13 now with David Ipa King Carter I did everything in my power in that first game to try to get the number one pick now I may have would have had a couple turnovers or something like that and I just wasn't able to get the number one pick now the second time around me playing the rookie showcase obviously I knew what it had to be done to get the number one pick you know the first time around I was not going to be playing a rookie showcase all day long to try to get number one I just wanted and done it man I wanted to get all these videos out to y'all guys and I just thought that playing the rookie showcase over and over would have wasted a lot of time in doing that so the second time around the stat sheet stuffer did what he had to do in the rookie showcase and now I got the number one pick so my choice was solely to get the number one pick if I decide to trade this guy five games in then he will be traded but I like the New Orleans Hornets man I can I can rock with them for a little bit now the next question that you guys had was how do you have two my players and or two my careers now this right here is a deep and thought question um to tell you the truth the only reason I have two my careers is this I had to go into the my player tab I had to change the actual look of my my player which means David Ipa King Carter and David Carter the stat sheet stuffer are the exact same person until I change their look their tattoos and then load up the my career so the question of hey do you have two my players the, the answer is no I do not have two my players I actually alternate the look in order to load up my two different my careers now you can have more than one my career but you can only have one my player which means if you try to go on blacktop online and I load up David Ipa King Carter guess what at this moment he will look like David Carter because he's a lighter shade he has different tattoos and the my career that is loaded on the system is for a 6-7 small forward so if I want to go back load up my 6-1 guy this is what I have to do and this is the only way you can have two my players if you think about it you have to go in change the look then you have to turn your system off, turn the system back on, load up my career for David Ipa King Carter, which is for a 6-1 point guard. Then you have to quit. It'll save again. You have to turn your system off once more, turn it back on, let the servers update once again. And then in 2K Sports servers eyes, you will have a 6-1 point guard all over again. I know it's a lot. I know it's, it's kind of crazy. But it's what you have to do. It's nothing that you can do to change it. You can't make two my players and store one on a different hard drive and then load them up. That's not how it works. 2K specifically said, in order to have a my career, you can only have one my player. Now, I know a lot of people are probably saying, hey, but he has a different name. Like I said, when I went into the my player tab, I changed his name. 
a lot of people inside of was it i think it was my creation video a lot of people said oh david carter went to the portland trailblazers because what they were looking at was my home screen when i actually created the my player if you guys saw what was on the screen i changed the name i went into new my career so of course the name the face everything was going to look like he was on portland but i was starting a whole new career now um, I hope we're off that subject. Um, I know I know it's kind of disappointing, but to tell you the truth, it's kind of cool because if you really want two my players and if they look similar, it won't be hard to do. Now, if I had Clark Kent Superman and David Ipa King Carter on the same account, that would be one of the worst things because I would actually have to change his jaw, his look, his skin tone, everything, his hairstyles. That would be too much work. But since David Carter and David Ipa King Carter look a little bit similar besides the skin tone, the, the, the beard, and a few tattoos, it wouldn't be that hard to change those two guys together. And also, I will be playing blacktop with David Ipa King Carter and David Carter whenever I want because I'm, I, I have that choice. Now, the next question that you guys had, I know we're getting off that topic, man. I know it's crazy, but... I know y'all were waiting for it. I know y'all wanted me to make a video on it. I still may make a video on it just to show you the steps that it takes. But, you know, you never know. The next thing was, in my NBA draft video, a lot of people said, how is he a 79 overall? Well, let me give you guys a little bit of insight. When all the big news stirred up about NBA 2K13 around, let's say, August, September, before the game actually came out, Ronnie 2K and these guys were putting out info on NBA 2K13 My Career. Now, remember, we all thought that you would be able to get drafted at a 70, what, 6 to 79, maybe 80 overall. When Ronnie 2K first published his first picture on his Instagram with him being drafted with David Stern. Now, he tried to X out the virtual currency on because they didn't want to put out the info of a VC. But we still saw a high 70 overall. And everybody was like... How is he a high 70 overall? What's going on here? What it was, was Ronnie 2K actually purchased the jewelry package. Now, I have the same package. Now, the thing about my package is um, DJ Mateo sent me some Microsoft points and I was able to get that package. And ever since you equipped it for your my player for Blacktop, it affects your my player in his my career all throughout the game. It's nothing that you can do about it. I think it boosts plus 10 to every attribute. So all across the board, it was plus 10 in every attribute. Now, me personally, I don't think that really helps as much. You know, when you first create your guy, a plus 10 in every attribute really isn't that helpful he like with a scoring small for he's still slow he's still sluggish you know it ain't like he got a 99 speed straight out the gate um now uh one of the last questions that you guys had was in the rookie showcase video a lot of people were asking how do you make these certain effects for when you dunk and everything like that i can tell you this i have a mac a macbook pro which means when I go into my editing program and I cut up this gameplay and I, I make these videos for you guys, I actually add certain effects. Like you guys were so, so hype about the camera effect when um, on the replays when it showed like the recording cam. Um, me and QJB was talking a while back and I had just made my conversion to Mac. And I was like, yo, like I want to get better at editing. I want to start doing different things. And he told me that Final Cut Pro X was like the best thing under the sun. So ever since I started making NBA 2K13 videos for this guy, and even for some of my point guard, I have just been messing with different effects, messing with different transitions, and I'm starting to come up with a nice little, you know, formula of how I want to make my videos. And I hope you guys think they are entertaining. You know, you can leave your comments in the comment section, of course. But I truly, you know, hope that you guys like the way the videos come out. I know I'm not a montage guy. I I can tell you this now. I am not one of those guys that can go through, you know, uh, endless keyframes and set things up. But when it comes to editing a video, I hope that I can get you guys out some great, some great content. But the video is almost over, man. This is IKC signing out. I know I really didn't talk about any of the purchases at all, but you guys saw them on the screen, and you actually see me right now equipping them to my my player at this certain time. Now, as it goes for the 24,000 VC that I have right here in the bank, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna hold on to it until I get a couple games under my belt, and I'll see what I need to up to get my my player a little bit better. 
Um, also, at the moment, I will not be raising his offensive or defensive awareness because I don't want him to be too good. You know, I actually want to start out bad, you know, start out with the struggles, start out on a couple losing streaks just to see what I can do to come back in the middle of the season. But as of right now, man, I'm feeling good about this my player. I am loving the way that he has came out, man. The stat sheet stuff for his back. And I'm so happy about this, man. And, I, and I'm glad you guys have been liking the videos and watching. But this is IKC signing out. I'm going to holler at you on episode 6, man, which will be my first game in the NBA. I hope you guys can't wait. <laughs> I can't. Peace, y'all. I'm out of here, man.